Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys a complete beginner's guide to the brand new iOS 16. This video is gonna cover everything that you're gonna to need to know to use iOS 16 like a complete pro. We're gonna start off with the initial setup process for iOS 16. Then we're gonna dive into some incredible tips, tricks, and hidden features that are gonna allow you to walk away from this video like a complete expert. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video, a complete beginner's guide for iOS 16. First things first is we're gonna to wanna to get iOS 16 updated and installed on our phone, and that is super easy to do. All you have to do is just go to settings, then scroll down to general, and then click software update. As you guys can see, I already have iOS 16 installed on my iPhone, but if you haven't, make sure you're plugged into a power source or if your iPhone's above 50%, otherwise it won't be able to allow you to install it. So make sure you're powered up, ready to go so you can install this. And once that's installed, just come back to this video so I can show you guys how to set this up and dive into some incredible features for iOS 16. One of the greatest and new features for iOS 16 is that it allows you to create multiple lock screens and switch between them easily. Apple has created tons of new lock screens with widgets, weather, and different displays that are all very unique in their own style. And I wanna show you guys how to set this up up so you can have multiple lock screens going on at once and you can choose between them with ease. So it's super easy to do. If you want to create or edit a new lock screen, all you have to do is just hold down on a lock screen like this. It's going to zoom out and then you have multiple options to choose between new lock screen. So for example, if we want to click add new right here, we just click that. And as you can see, Apple created tons of new wallpapers for your lock screen. We have anywhere from feature to weather and astronomy. We have emoji ones down here. We have a new collection down here, tons of different ones to choose from. So say for example, you guys wanna have the weather on your lock screen so you can see it at all times, so you can know what it's like outside before you go out. We can just click weather and astronomy right here, and then you guys can edit that to make sure you guys can customize that to your needs. Then we're gonna click done right here, and as you guys can see, this is my new lock screen right here. So this is one of the mini lock screens you guys can choose from. As you can see, it even shows when the sunset's gonna occur. But if we go back to this, and I wanna show you guys another one right now, we have the option to customize this one. We can click done, and then we can go even create another lock screen. You can have as many as you want on your lock screen so you guys can switch between them with ease. If we go back, say we wanna do an emoji one, we can click this right here, and as you can see, we have the fish emojis in the background of my lock screen. So depending on what you want, you guys can choose between all the lock screens that you have, and you guys can choose which one you want for the day or the hour or whatever that may be. So I wanna go back to weather and keep that on, and I'll have this throughout the day, but if I wanna edit this, I can just hold this down and choose from other lock screens I've created or customize new ones. So this is a brand new feature for iOS 16. I definitely recommend using it if you guys wanna have multiple wallpapers going on at once. This allows you to switch between them with ease and choose new ones as you move forward with iOS 16. So definitely check out this feature if you guys wanna edit and customize your own lock screens on your iPhone. If you guys look at my lock screen, you'll also notice that the notifications are now at the bottom of the lock screen opposed to the top in previous iOS updates. This is a brand new feature for iOS 16 as well with the lock screen. And now it allows notifications to go onto the bottom of the screen so they're out of your way when you're viewing the weather or any other information you wanna see on your lock screen. This allows them to be out of the way so you guys can look at anything you want. And then if you wanna click on the notification, you guys can just view them down here. But otherwise, this is a brand new feature I wanted to show you guys. Now they're out of the way, which I think is super convenient for iPhone users. And if you guys wanna just click on those notifications, all you have to do is click them and it'll take you right there after entering your password or using your face ID to get into your iPhone. So definitely check that out when you guys get the chance. As I previously mentioned, you guys can add new lock screens to your lock screens on your iPhone and switch between them with ease. But I also wanna show you guys that you guys can edit the one lock screen that you're using at the moment. And you guys can add any widgets, any information that you'd like to share on your lock screen so you guys can get that information right at your fingertips before you even go into your iPhone. And I wanna show you guys how to do this. So if we hold down the iPhone right here, the lock screen, you're gonna see we have this option to click customize. And then by doing so, we can remove certain widgets. So if I click right here and for example, say, I want to get rid of the AQI because I feel like it's not a necessary piece of data we need on our lock screen. I can click minus right here and I'll remove that. Then we can add the battery percentage if we want and that'll show how much battery is left on my phone before even entering my phone. It'll be right there on the lock screen. We also have tons of other widgets you guys can add. You can add the calendar, clock, fitness, home, 
All these options, essentially any information or widget you want to add to the lock screen, you can do so. Just make sure you remove certain ones before doing so, so you guys can have those featured on your lock screen. Because like I said, AQI, I felt like that wasn't an important piece of information I needed. So if you guys want to remove certain ones, you just click the minus button, and then you can add any widgets you'd like on your home screen. And you can do this with any of the lock screens that you create, and you can choose between those with ease. So you can see all the widgets and important information you need right at your fingertips before and entering into your iPhone. And like I said, this is an incredible new feature for iOS 16. So if you guys want to have widgets on your lock screen or customize them in any way you want, you can do that with iOS 16. It's super cool and I definitely recommend checking that out as soon as you have iOS 16 installed on your iPhone. When editing and customizing your lock screen, you can also change the font and the color of certain text on this lock screen with iOS 16. And I also want to show you guys how to do that. So for example, if we click the time when editing this lock screen, I can choose the font color. I can choose any of these ones right here and it'll automatically transfer to that text font. And then we can also choose different colors. So say we want pink, for example. Now my numbers and text will show up as pink on my lock screen. So you guys can essentially edit your lock screen in any way you want. For example, if we click Monday the 13th right here. We can also add new widgets like the weather, the calendar, the clock, like I previously showed you guys. So there's tons of different features you guys can use with your wallpapers on iOS 16 to customize it in any way you guys want. So I think this is super cool and it's definitely worth checking out. You guys can essentially customize your lock screen in any way that you want. And I think it's super cool and it was worth showing you guys. This is one of the newest and coolest features for iOS 16. So when you guys get that set up, definitely edit the wallpaper in any way you'd like and your ability to do so with iOS 16. When adding new wallpapers to your iOS 16's iPhone, you guys can actually do a photo shuffle as well. And by clicking this, this is going to allow you to choose multiple photos you want to be shown on your wallpaper. And then throughout the day, these photos are going to shift depending on what time of day it is. And it'll show all those photos that you added onto your lock screen. And it'll just continue to change throughout the day as you use your phone. I think this is a super cool way to integrate your photos with your wallpaper. So definitely check that out when you guys get the chance. I think it's super cool. And that's another great feature you guys can use using the wallpaper on iOS 16 with your new iPhone. iOS 16 also has brand new focus mode settings that allow you to link a certain focus mode with that certain wallpaper you're using at the moment. So for example, like I previously showed you guys, you guys can choose multiple wallpapers on your lock screen with your iPhone and you guys can link certain focus modes depending on the time of the day with each of those wallpapers. So say for example with this wallpaper, I want to link a certain focus mode. I just hold that down. Then by clicking that, you guys are going to see we have the option to select a focus mode to turn on with this specific lock screen. We can choose from do not disturb, personal, sleep, or work. So I'm going to click do not disturb right here, just normal one. So this is the do not disturb mode for this specific wallpaper. But say I want to go to a new wallpaper, I just hold that down then go to this one for example and by clicking on this and holding it down you guys are going to see we can choose a different focus mode for this specific wallpaper for the previous wallpaper i choose do not disturb but for, say for this one i want to choose sleep i just click sleep for this one and now you guys are going to see that for this specific mode we have sleep and then for this wallpaper, we have do not disturb. And then for any of my wallpapers, I can choose a certain focus mode to link with that specific wallpaper. This is a very convenient and useful tool depending on what wallpapers you want to use and which focus mode you want to use during the day with your iOS 16 update. So definitely check that out if you guys want a better focus when using your phone. Just choose that wallpaper and link that specific focus mode. And you guys can do this right now with iOS 16. So definitely give that a try and come back to this video for more great features on iOS 16 and great new focus mode settings that come with it. With iOS 16, you guys can also customize your own focus modes depending on whatever you're doing or whatever you need to do. So I want to show you guys how to do this. Also, it's super cool. So if we go to the control center right here, you guys are going to see we have the options that the standard iPhone comes with, which is do not disturb, personal, work, and sleep. But if you want to customize your own, all you have to do is just click this plus button right here, and you guys are going to see we have tons of options to choose from. You can customize your own. You can use a driving focus, a fitness focus, whatever you want to do but say we choose custom right here you guys can create a, your own name for that focus and make it a certain color and then you guys are going to be able to choose which apps you want silence which contacts you want silence and i want to show you guys how to do this so for example say we want to do shopping i'm just going to type that in right here and you guys are going to see that we have shopping set up right added right here and then you guys can see if we scroll down there's actually a shopping icon you guys can use for this specific icon we're going to click next 
and you guys are going to have shopping focus turns on. So this is going to silence notifications you don't want across all your devices. You can share with your friends the notifications you have silenced. You can turn on a custom lock screen or a homepage like I previously showed you guys in this video. And you can schedule it to turn on automatically or you can turn it on straight from your control center. So we're going to click customize focus. And now we have it set up and we can choose certain people and certain apps we want silence when having shopping focus turned on. You guys can also customize your lock screen like I previously showed you guys to link this with a specific wallpaper that you chose. So whenever you have that wallpaper turned on, you guys are going to have shopping focus turned on as well. You can choose all of these and edit it in essentially any way you'd like. I think it's a super new and great feature for iOS 16 that you guys should definitely try if you want to customize your own focus mode and use that with certain wallpapers and customize which apps and people are silenced at this focus mode. So definitely check this out when you guys get the chance. Try out and customize your own focus mode. It's definitely worth it if you guys want these certain notifications silenced for. So definitely try that out on iOS 16 when you guys get the chance. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device. Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to Elgear.com. Stop using those old-fashioned, slow-charging, and messy lightning cables and upgrade to the 2-in-1 lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand, and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to Elgear.com, the link's on the screen and down in the description. Enjoy! There's also brand new features with the focus mode and sending emails in your messaging app on iOS. 16 that I also wanted to show you guys. So if we go to the mail app where you guys can send in delivered emails, you guys just click right here and it's going to say what's new in mail. So it's going to give you a brief introduction right off the bat. And for example, it says scheduled send. So you can set up messages to be sent at a right time or a specific time you guys want them to be sent. So it's easier and more convenient when sending those messages. You guys can get reminders to deal with messages in the future. So you guys will receive those reminders when you guys need to get those certain messages. Then lastly, this is one of the greatest tools that you guys can also do in the text message app on your iPhone. You guys can undo a send. So you can edit emails and stop them from being delivered before they're sent. So if you guys need to edit it or if you made a mistake when typing it, you guys can just undo that or edit that in any way you want. It's super convenient and innovative. And I want to show you guys a little bit how this works. So let's click continue right here. And then now we're on my messaging app or my email app on my iPhone. As you can see, I'm currently drafting up an email to send in my messaging app on my iPhone. And as you can see right here, it says schedule to send later. And all you have to do is just long press on the send button to schedule a time to send this later. So if I don't want to send this now and I feel like a better time to send it is in a few hours. All I have to do is just long press on the send button and then I can send it at a time I want to. So for example, let's do this right now. I'm going to type in hello there just to have some content in my message. So let me just finish typing this out. And then now that I want to send this, I'm going to hold down right here. And now I have the option to send now, send at 9 p.m. tonight, send 9 p.m. tomorrow or send later. So let's do send at 9 p.m. tonight and then it'll actually directly send this letter 
at 9 p.m. tonight opposed to me having to send it now. So this is a great new tool if you guys want to send out emails at a certain time on your email app. So I definitely recommend checking this out. It is very useful on iOS 16, so give it a try when you get the chance. I've already shown you guys tons of new features you guys can use with the lock screen on your iPhone with iOS 16, but I haven't gone over the home screen yet and some cool new features you guys can use with iOS 16 on this page. And I want to show you guys that right now. So if you're scrolling through all your apps, you see these three tabs at the bottom. You can actually search your apps just by clicking this button like this. And by clicking that, it's going to have Siri suggestions pop up, certain recommendations, and you can search on any information or apps you want to look up here in a moment. I definitely recommend doing this if you have a lot of apps to choose from because it can be a hassle to scroll through all of them and find them manually. So this is a much easier way to locate certain apps that you're looking for that you want to use in the moment. So definitely use the Siri suggestions and search tab that you can find right here when looking on the home screen for your iPhone. Then also, I just want to go to the control center to show you guys something new that I noticed. This isn't the craziest feature, but it is new, so I figured I'd show it with you guys. So let's go to the control center right here. Once you're there, you're going to see we have this little tab at the top that says weather with my location icon turned next to it. So if we click on that, it's going to show my privacy settings, and it's essentially going to show which apps I'm using at the moment that have used location recently. So right now at the moment, only my weather app has the location turned on recently, but say you're using other apps like Snapchat or Instagram, you would see those apps there as well. And this is a nice little tool to see which apps have their location turned on in this privacy section in the control setting. So it's super easy to navigate and find through your iPhone. I definitely recommend checking that out if you get the chance. It'll just allow you to see which apps have that privacy and location turned on. So feel free to check that out when you guys get the chance, then come back to this video. The next new feature I want to talk about on iOS 16 actually involves the photo application on your iPhone and this new feature allows you to share iCloud albums with any members that are connected to your iCloud. And I think it's a super cool feature that allows you to share great memories with the people you have an iCloud link to and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. All you have to do is just go to the photos album right here. Then you, as you can see we have all my photo albums right here but if I want to create an iCloud shared one all I have to do is just click this plus button right here. And then as you guys can see we have a new shared album we can create. So by clicking that, you guys are going to see the iCloud label pops up and you can share with any members of your contacts or anyone that's linked to your iCloud. So say, for example, you went on a trip with your family, like your mom, and you guys want to share photos that you took on that trip. I'm going to type in mom right here or London right here because that's where we went. And now I'm going to be able to share photos from that specific trip. And now my mom's going to be able to see those iCloud photos as well once I share as a contact. But as you can see, I have the option to choose as many contacts as I want. But for this specific video, I'm going to just share it with my mom, just for example. So I'm going to type in mom right here. Her contact's going to pop up. And now we're going to be able to click create right here. And now this photo album is shared and created on my albums in my photo app with iOS 16. And I'm going to show you guys how to import photos of this so your mom or any contacts can see this iCloud shared photo library. So now we're on the shared album sections of our photo app. And I'm going to click the album I just created, which is London. And as you can see, I only have my mom added to the contacts for this iCloud shared photo library. But I want to show you multiple options you guys can choose from when entering this album. So we see these three dots right here. We're just going to click those. And you guys are going to see we have tons of different options choose and we have the option to add photos show album details sort or remove the album and i want to start off by clicking the shared album details right here and as you can see it shows who's part of the icloud shared photo album right now it's my mom if i want to invite more people i just click invite and type in their name or contact and that'll pop up and you can add those we have the option where subscribers can post and what this essentially means is you and the people you invite can add photos and videos to this album so whoever's shared in this photo album on icloud they'll add be able to add photos or import photos from that trip as well and they can import any of these photos they like so that's the great part about this new feature on ios 16 so you can add your own photos but the contacts that this album is shared with they can also add photos which is a great aspect of this feature then we also have a public website option i have this turned off but essentially what this does is this allows anyone to view the shared album on icloud.com i'm going to keep this off right now but that's completely up to you and then lastly we have notifications so if you want your notifications turned on basically this will show when subscribers like comment or add photos or videos to the shared album so as you can see there's tons of different options you guys can choose from when creating the shared iCloud photo library and now since this is all set and I showed you guys this I want to show you how you can actually import photos right here so we're gonna click done right here and now we have the option to click these three dots again and by doing that we can just click add photos right here and now i can search the certain places that we went so for example if i'm going to type in london 
you're gonna see we have all these pictures from London. I can choose which ones I wanna to add to the photos album right here. And as you can see, I have tons of pictures to choose from. But if I want to show all the selected ones, I can just click add right here. And now all of those are going to be added to the London photo album that's shared with any of the contacts you added. And you guys can write any message you want right here in case you want to notify them with any specific messages. But I'm not going to write anything for the sake of this video. But if you want, you can just type in whatever you want right here. And then I'm going to click post right here. And now all those photos are going to be uploaded to this album. And now whoever is shared with this iCloud photo library, they're going to be able to see these photos and add any photos, like, comment, and do whatever they want with these photos that I added to this album. So this is a brand new feature for iOS 16. I definitely recommend checking it out when you guys get the chance. This allows you to share memories and great times with the contacts and colleagues you guys have those memories with, especially if you went on a trip or you guys went somewhere with them and you want to share those photos. They can add any photos they like, comment anything they want, or subscribe to these photos if they want. So it's definitely a great new feature for iOS 16 and it's worth checking out when you guys get the chance. So don't miss out on this opportunity and try the iCloud shared photo album on iOS 16. One of the coolest new features for the photo app with iOS 16 that I forgot to talk about earlier is the ability to lift a certain subject or picture off of a background and use that and edit that in any way you like. This is super cool and I wanna show you guys how this is done. So let's dive right into it. So let's go to the photos app right here and as you can see I have a picture of my Apple watch on this desk and say I just want to remove this subject which is the Apple watch away from the background and all I have to do is just hold down the subject which is the Apple watch in this case and watch what happens by holding that down now the option is to copy or share that specific subject and remove the background completely so say I want to share this subject I'm going to just click share right here. I'm going to create a new text messages. And now the only the Apple watch is going to show up in this text message, which I shared instead of the background being there as well. So this is a brand new feature showing off the intelligence that iOS 16 comes with. It's some very intuitive software. It's pretty amazing. So definitely check that out if you guys want to try this new feature on iOS 16 with your iPhone. I want to take a quick break from the video to introduce to you guys an incredible app where you can earn rewards and other great prizes simply by just answering questions, taking surveys, and sharing feedback. And that app is Quick Thoughts. Using our exclusive link I'm about to share with you guys, you guys can earn all these rewards by just answering thoughtfully different surveys and taking surveys and other quizzes. And I'm going to show you guys how to access that link right now. Claiming free rewards and other great prizes with Quick Thoughts using our exclusive link. All you have to do is just go to Safari or any other web browser and type in bit.ly slash get quick thoughts. That is bit.ly slash get quick thoughts. It's also in the link in the description of this video. And it is right here on the screen. If you, in case you forget it, make sure to check those links out after this video. But basically, all you have to do is just type that in and click go. It is going to actually take us to the app on the App Store itself. So essentially, it's going to give you an overview of the app right here. And look, if you look right here, it's going to show you all the different rewards and prizes you can actually win, such as gift cards, different discounts, cash back, and other great rewards all from this app just by taking simple surveys and sharing feedback on certain things. I'm gonna show you guys the app in a second, but this is a quick preview of it. All you have to do is just download it today. Once we're on the app page using the link we gave you guys, you're just gonna click open. It's gonna take us to the Quick Thoughts app. It's gonna ask you to sign up, or if you're an existing user, just put in your information but it's completely free to use. And keep in mind that you guys are supporting our channel by using the link we shared with you. But also on top of that, you guys are getting access to some of the best rewards and prizes with the different surveys that Quick Thoughts come with by using our exclusive link. So definitely keep that in mind and definitely use our link when downloading Quick Thoughts. On top of that, this is an overall win-win app where you guys actually have the chance to win great rewards and prizes simply by just taking quizzes in different surveys. So you guys do not want to miss out on this opportunity and make sure to click that link. It is bit.ly slash get quick thoughts. It's in the link in the description of the video. So just click that when this video is over and thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Enjoy. Arguably the greatest new feature for iOS 16 is all the great things you can do with the messaging app. They're all incredible and the main feature I want to show you guys is how to undo or edit text messages after you send them. It's a brand new feature I think they should have done a long time ago and I'm very glad they got this done. It's about time. So I want to show you guys how this works and all the great new features that come with iOS 16 and the messaging app on your iPhone. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how to actually pin certain contacts to your message 
messaging. So they're gonna be the first that appear when you go on your messaging app. These are the people you often text the most or get in contact with the most. And by pinning them on your messaging app, it makes it easier to communicate and you can get that done so much faster. So let me show you guys how this is done. We're gonna click edit right here and then we're gonna click edit pins. And now I'm gonna have the option to choose which contacts I wanna pin on my messaging app. So I'm gonna have my mom, Andy, than anyone else I feel like I want to pin. And then we're going to click done right here. And as you can see, whenever I go on my messaging app, now these two contacts are going to be right here. And they're going to be the first contacts I can see so I can message them right away. So as you can see, I created a new message. And before I send it, this is the feature I want to talk to you guys about. This is the ability to undo messages or edit them after you send them. And it's a brand new feature I want to show you guys. It's super cool. So let's dive into it. And I'm going to show you guys how this is done. So say, for example, I want to just text this hi right here. Basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to click high and then I'm going to hold down that message right after it's sent. And then you're going to see I have the option to undo the send or edit the send. So if I want to undo the send, all I have to do is just click undo. And now that's going to be disappeared from that contact and that text message. There's going to be a little heading that pops up right here that says you unsent a message to this specific contact. And you may be able to see your message on devices running with older versions of iOS. But since we have iOS 16, this completely disappears because I deleted that message. But now I want to show you guys how to edit a message after you send it. So say I type hi again right here. Send that like this. Now I'm going to hold down that high again right here and then we're going to have the option to edit that message. So we're going to click high and edit that message. I'm going to say, hi, how are you? So instead of saying hi, I'm going to type this instead because I just edited that message. This is a brand new feature for iOS 16 that I think is super cool. It allows you to fix any text messages you wanted to fix before sending them because we never had that privilege beforehand. So if you guys need to edit a message or unsend a message, you guys can do that now with iOS 16. I definitely recommend doing it because it is a great tool for future text messages. And on top of this, it's important to note that you guys can only do this with recent messages. If they're messages from a long time ago, you won't be able to edit or or unsend them. So when you send a message recently, that's when you're going to be able to edit and unsend those messages. So just keep that in mind. You can't do it with older messages, but messages that you just sent recently, you can edit them or unsend them in any way you want. And I just wanted to run that by you guys because this is a great new feature for iOS 16. So definitely try that out when you guys get the chance. It's super cool and I absolutely love it. With iOS 16, you guys can also share play via text message, which is a brand new feature for this phone and this iOS update. And essentially what this means you can actually share any audio or content you guys are watching at the moment in your text messaging app and send that to whoever you want and they can actually watch along or listen along to whatever you're watching at the moment while in the text message app and while you guys are doing this you guys can actually text about this while it's going on and I want to show you guys a little bit how this is done so say for example we go to Apple TV right here and now you guys can see we have Spider-Man Homecoming right here and say I want to share that with someone who wants to watch this movie with me and we can type and text about it while we're watching it i want to show you guys how this is done so all you have to do is just hold down on this movie or whatever you guys want to share then we can click the option share right here and then now we have the option right here where it says share play so this is super cool i'm going to click share play right here and now we have the option to share that with any of our contacts we want so i want to share it with my mom or my friend i can just type that in and now we can either facetime or text about that movie while watching it at the same time this is a brand new feature and it's very efficient if you guys want to talk about a movie or a song that you guys are listening to i definitely recommend trying it out if you guys like watching or listening to the same type of music or watching the same type of movies you guys can actually watch it right at the same time and text or FaceTime about it while doing so. So definitely try out that share play if you guys want to watch something together. It's super cool and it's a brand new feature on iOS 16 I wanted to share with you guys. So definitely try that out when you guys get the chance. It is super cool. Another great new feature for the messaging app with iOS 16 is you actually have the ability now to scan certain texts from your photos and that will translate into a text message directly from that photo. And I think this is a super cool feature I want to show you guys and it's super easy to do. So let me show you guys how this is done. So for example, as you can see, we're in my new message right here. We're just going to hold down on this text box right here and you guys are going to see we have the option to scan a text message right here. So if we click that, it's going to take us to our photos right here or our camera and say, for example, I want to scan a text of this perfume bottle right here. All I have to do is just place this in front of the camera like this. And as 
as you guys can see, it's a bit blurry, but I'm gonna pick that up. And now it's gonna translate right into that text message and say Tom Ford and the name of the perfume. And that's a simple example of how you guys can scan a text and convert that right into a text message. And then you guys can send that to whoever you want. This is a brand new feature for iOS 16. Like I said, iOS 16 has a ton of new features for the text messaging and iMessage on your iPhone. So these are all some features I definitely think you guys should check out when you get the chance. These are all incredible and definitely super cool. So feel free to try those out when you guys get the chance and update your phone to iOS 16. The next feature I want to talk about for iOS 16 relates to the Safari app and all the new features you guys can use with the tab section on the Safari app. So as you know, last iOS 15 update, they made the Safari tab bar or the search bar at the bottom of the screen opposed to the top. And we previously showed you guys in multiple videos that you can change that back. But now iOS 16, there's also many new features that they included with the iPhone. And I want to show you guys how to do this right now. So let's go to the Safari app right here. And as you guys can see, I'm just on the home page of my Safari app. And as you can see, it looks normal like it usually would with any of the apps and the previous updates on iOS. But I want to show you guys the brand new feature. And that occurs when you click the tab button right here. And as you guys can see, I have all the tabs that are currently open. And one of the first new features I'm sure you guys notice is you have the ability to search between tabs that you have open. I only have three at the moment, but say you had a lot of them open at once. You have the ability to search, type whatever tabs you guys wanted to find those or locate them. You can also use dictation to say what you need to to bring up those tabs. And find those right at your fingertips but this is one new feature on ios 16 with safari where you can just search between tabs just by typing in specific pointers or information that is in that specific tab on safari so this is allows for efficient search and you guys should definitely try that out when you guys get the chance but this is only one of the brand new features for the safari app on ios 16 there's many more to dive into so let's get right to it i also want to show you guys what happens when you click this three tab section with the drop down arrow right here so let's click on this and you guys are going to see it's going to take us to this tab groups page where it's going to show that we have three tabs right here. We have a private section, a new empty tab group, and a new tab group from three tabs. So these are all brand new features on iOS 16. And I'm going to walk you guys through these right now. So right now we have our check next to the three tabs. This is essentially this page right here with the three tabs I have open at the moment. So that doesn't say much, but if we go back, there's also this brand new private section. So right here by clicking that, it's going to take us to a private browsing mode. And essentially what this says is Safari won't remember the page pages you visited, your search history, or your autofill information after you close a tab in the private browsing mode. And right now we're in that private browsing mode. And essentially what this allows you to do is search things up. And if you want to keep these things private that you search up, you can keep them in this private tab section. This will be only accessible to you and you guys can access that by just clicking this drop down arrow and going to private. And then once you're here, you guys can search whatever you want in this private tab section and keep it in here as long as you want. So this is a great new feature for iOS 16 with Safari. So definitely try that if you guys want to search some things up and you want to keep that private to yourself and then next if we go back right here we go back to three tabs i want to start back where we were and then we click this drop down arrow again you're going to see this new empty tab group right here option where he gives the plus button next to it so let's click that and see what happens basically what's going to pop up is this new tab group and you can enter a name for this tab group this tab group will sync across all of your apple devices that are synced with your icloud so say i want to name this tab group me or personal right here like this we can do that then click save so now this is my private personal tab group and right here by asking this you can add as many tabs as you want in this section on my personal folder that i just created or you can work with already what you have and then also you guys are going to notice we have this option button right here and if we click this basically what we can do is send this information in this tab group to anyone we want to if you feel like it's necessary so you have the option to send any of this information on your safari tabs that you have open in this section to anyone you want which is a brand new feature for ios 16. we can also go back and exit out of this and i want to show you guys one more feature for the safari app with ios 16. we can also go back right down here and you're going to see we're on my personal safari tab but if we want to create a new empty tab group we can do that as well so now by doing that we just enter a new tab group and we can create any name we want for that and then add any tabs we want in safari on this so you can essentially add as many tab groups as you like on the safari app once you update your phone to ios 16 which is a brand new feature that's definitely worth checking out when you guys get the chance but if we click done right here and just click this tab group again and then we click my personal down here and now we have the option to edit and i want to show you guys essentially what this does so by clicking edit we have these three dots pop up on this three tab section right here and you have the ability to copy these links and send them anywhere you want 
I just wanted to show you guys that. Then next we also have these three link dots right here. And by clicking that you can rename the name of this tab group or you can delete it permanently. So it's completely up to you when you want to edit it. I just wanted to show you guys these features so you know when using Safari after your phone's updated to iOS 16. But overall this is a great new feature for Safari on the iPhone. So definitely try this out when you update your phone to iOS 16. And let's move on to the next feature. I want to take a quick break from the video to introduce to you guys Rakuten, the best app to get cash back and other great deals. With Rakuten, you're going to be able to shop at stores you love and earn great rewards and other great deals just by using this app. And also with our exclusive link with Rakuten, you're going to be able to earn an additional $30 just by using it. So I'm going to show you guys how to access that link and earn your free $30 right now. Claim your free $30 from Rakuten using this exclusive link. All you want to do is just go to Safari or any web browser you have and type in bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. That is bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. Now that's in the link in the description as well of this video and it's on the screen right here. So make sure to check those out to find it at the end of this video. But this link is exclusive to AppFind. So you only can get this $30 from using this link. So we made sure to get you guys the best rewards possible through this partnership. And you guys are also supporting our channel by doing this. So I wanna thank you guys for that. But let's click on the link right here. It'll be in the description, like I said. And it's gonna take you to this page. And it's gonna say, all I can invite you to get $30 once you join and spend $30. So all you have to do is just create an account on Rakuten, which is completely free, no charges or costs involved. And once you spend that $30 on Rakuten, you're gonna get a free additional $30 on top of that. So it's a win-win because you're gonna be able to get free $30 and you're going to be able to get cash back while shopping at your favorite stores. So all you have to do is just put in your email and create a password and then you are good to go with this exclusive link with Rakuten. For using our exclusive link, I want to show you guys the Rakuten app. It is right here. It is super easy to use and navigate. It has up to 3,500 plus stores where you can earn cash back and other great rewards. So odds are that if there's 3,500 plus stores, one of these are going to be your favorite stores to shop at. So you're losing money if you would essentially do not download this app and use our exclusive link to get that extra $30. But as you can see, there's tons of different sections to choose from. Stores are members to love. For example, we've got Macy's and Walmart. At Macy's, you can earn 10% cash back other great deals in the category section so if you have a specific category you want to look into for sports and goods or health and beauty or any of these you can gladly go to do that on this category section but if we click on sports and outdoors for example we're going to see Lululemon, Athleta, Adidas all these other stores right here where you can earn cash back we're going to click on Lululemon it's going to show you the 2% cash back right here and more information it's going to tell you when it expires it's going to show you these top coupons, but this is just one of the categories of mini. Anything you want to shop, essentially Rakuten will have that. So you guys definitely got to download this app. You're losing out on money if you aren't using Rakuten. And think, keep in mind that you're also going to get an additional $30. So you're overall saving tons of money by using our exclusive link and using Rakuten in general. And do not miss out on this opportunity, guys. Enjoy. With iOS 16, there's also a family sharing option, which is brand new. And I want to show you guys a little bit more information about this. So let's go to settings. This is where you guys can locate it. Just all you have to do is just go to settings right here, then scroll down or just click the name of your Apple ID. And then as you guys see, as we scroll down, you're going to see this family sharing option where it says learn more. So let's click on that so I can give you guys some more information about this. So essentially what family sharing does is you can share your subscription and music, movie, and other media purchases with up to five people, like your family. You can share these subscriptions. You guys can monitor parental controls. So if you don't want your family or any members of your family seeing some certain content, you can set up controls to block that. And you guys can also share all of your purchases. So this is a brand new feature for iOS 16. So let's click continue and see what happens after this. Now you can see we're on this invite family section where you can add up to five more people to your family. So I'm just going to add my mom and dad right now. So let's click invite right here. And now it's going to take us to this messaging page where it's going to say join the family. Andy is inviting you to join a family so you can share your media purchases and subscriptions. And this text message is going to be sent to my mom. So let's click send right here just to send that message. And now it's loading after that. So just wait until you're done. And for now, for the sake of this video, I'm only going to have my mom included. So we're going to click done right now. And it's going to take us back 
And now we have one invitation sent. And then once your mom or your family member gets that, you guys can set up restrictions, parental controls, and you guys can share which media you guys purchases, like your audio, movies, and whatnot. So definitely try out this family sharing feature on iOS 16 if you want to share that content with your family and you think it's worth getting involved in. So give that a try when you get the chance. Now we're in the family section in our settings, and I want to show you guys a little bit more information on what you can do with this new feature on iOS 16 and your iPhone. So as you can see, I'm the organizer right here in this setting. I have my mom who I set the invitation to. And now it says do more with your family where you can update important information for each family and member and review recommendations. And then it says family checklist, which is one of the coolest parts about this family setting on iOS 16. So let's click on that. And basically what you have to do is you can take advantage of all family sharing features available to you with this family checklist. You can share medical information, you can share your location, and you can add a recovery contact in case someone's in need and you need to get in contact with someone. So this is a checklist you guys can use when you get that family setting set up on your iPhone. I definitely recommend trying that if you want to involve your family with your Apple contact content. So definitely worth a try when you guys get the chance. And then we've click done right here. It's going to show which subscriptions you guys have shared with your family. We have none at the moment. Then there's also this purchase sharing session right here where you can set up purchase sharing. And basically what this does is it allows you to share your payment methods with your family once you guys set up this family settings on iOS 16. And you can allow for purchase sharing, which is everyone in the family will be able to share apps, media, and books that they purchase. And everyone's accounts will be separate at the same time. So everyone uses their own Apple ID, so their preferences stay private and recommended as personal. So this is a brand new feature for iOS 16, which is super cool. So you guys can share your purchases or you can keep them private with your family in certain groups. But this is a brand new feature you guys can set up later or now it's completely up to you. I'm gonna set this up later. And then we have our location, which is not shared at the moment with my family. So if we click on this right here, it's gonna take a moment to load. And then basically it's going to say share your location with your family. You can share your location with all existing family members and any new family members that join later. And if you share your locations and family, you can help locate each other's devices. So this is completely up to you. This is your preference. If you want to share your location with your family members, all you have to do is just click that right here. And then you guys can customize that any way you want. For the sake of this video, since I haven't really set up family settings and my mom's the only one invited, I'm not going to dive into this right now, but all you have to do is just click share location with family and your location will be set up on this family settings on iOS 16. So definitely try out this family settings. It's super worth it if you guys want to link all of your content with your family. So give that a try when you guys get the chance. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. This was a complete beginner's guide for the brand new iOS 16. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvib.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. And while you're at it, go follow us on appfindvip, which is our Instagram account, where you guys are going to see the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all Apple technology and iOS out there. Then lastly, you guys should go check out bestrewardsapps.com, where you guys can discover all these incredible apps that allow you to win great rewards and prizes simply by downloading the app and getting started. You definitely don't want to miss out any of these apps. They're all affiliates of ours and they're all worth checking out. So thank you guys. Check these out and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.